Hello there. Italy looks more like quitting the EU every single day. And Italexit has a strong ally in Nigel Farage. Firstly, please subscribe and like this video to give my channel a boost. And I'm always uploading new content, so please do check back daily. Nigel Farage is gearing up to assist those many Italians who now want their country to emulate Brexit UK and leave the European Union. And yesterday the Express reported, Mr Farage has stoked the fires of Euroscepticism once more by sharing a picture of himself with a freshly laundered Italexit t-shirt on Twitter. The picture was taken on Monday as the Brexit party leader met Italian Senator Gianluigi Paragon, the driving force behind a new single-issue party aimed at taking Italy out of the EU. Mr Farage, who has been instrumental in Britain's decision to quit the bloc four years ago and who has remained closely involved ever since, tweeted the picture with a simple one-word message, Italexit. And Farage's tweet endorsed the website italexit.it, which has the slogan, No Europa per l'Italia, which means No Europe for Italy, a campaign that started last Thursday. And this is being spearheaded by Italian journalist, politician and current senator Gianluigi Paragone. And having been on the receiving end during the pandemic, as well as the EU Coronavirus Recovery Fund and budget talks, the once very pro-EU Italians are now feeling rather annoyed towards it. And there are fears that even though a coronavirus fund deal has been reached, lasting damage may have been caused to EU 27 member state relations, especially with Italy, a founding member of the European Union. In fact, a recent poll shows that 67% of Italians now believe that membership of the EU is having a detrimental effect on their country. And even back in April, a Techni poll showed that 49% of Italians want their country free of the European Union. Now, Nigel Farage has said in the past that he not only wants the UK out of the EU, but that he also wants to see the whole EU project dismantled. So assisting such a large player as Italy to leave the bloc would be high on his agenda, because that single act could bring the entire Eurozone and EU crashing down. I haven't finished with just getting the United Kingdom out of the European Union. I won't settle until I get the whole of Europe out of the European Union, he said when speaking at the Liberty University in Virginia. And RT reports, Just when you thought he'd been consigned to history, Mr Brexit himself, Nigel Farage, is back. Only this time, he's franchising out his brand to take another swing at the establishment. Italexit is all systems go after publicly confirming its plan and Farage is on board. And it also says that Paragon and Farage met in London last Monday. But there have also been warnings that by involving himself in the internal politics of a foreign country, Farage might have the same detrimental effect on Italexit as Guy Verhofstadt and Barack Obama had on the UK Remain campaign and the pro-EU lobby in Italy and the wider EU would of course try to use his lack of Italian credentials and charges of interfering against him. So he may be more of a background figure than a figurehead. But he knows what to do to connect with people, so will be a formidable ally to Paragon and a real worry for the EU establishment and its supporters. But there are also reports that Farage has been helping Donald Trump in the run-up to the presidential elections in November, as indicated by his trip to Tulsa a few weeks ago, without being troubled by the US travel ban, I would add. Then there's the domestic matter of keeping an eye on Boris Johnson and Dominic Cummings as the end of the Brexit implementation period looms. 
Will Boris stick to his line of no deal being better than a bad deal, or will he sign us up to something less than a true Brexit? So many people might prefer Farage to remain here and keep being vocal until Brexit is fully and completely delivered. Now, I found it strange that people were using the English-sounding terms for this, like Italexit, Quitterly, Exitally and Italieve. So I used an online translation service to see if I could locate the use of a more Italian-sounding phrase. And when I put in Italy exit, it returned with Uschita Italia, which could obviously be shortened into Uschitalia. Now that does have a ring to it. So I did a quick search and found a Facebook page for it. In fact, the term Uschitalia, with the capital U and a capital I, has been around since at least 2018, if not before. So Uskitalia might also be a word to look out for in the future. And with Nigel Farage backing the movement for Italy to leave the EU, you'd be silly to write the possibility off, even though Italy is mired in it right up to the neck, Schengen Euro the lot. So Italexit campaigners will need all the help they can get. And if they are successful, then the UK needs to be ready to step in and help make the Italian transition away from the EU as painless as possible. After all, we are the experts. Anyway, if you want to hear more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that little bell, or you won't get any notifications. And if you want to see more of me, buy a mug with my mug on it. So what do you think about Italexit? Please share and comment and thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. And thank you very much for watching.